Good afternoon guys, welcome to Tutorials by David Sebanda or you can call me the Investor Data Boy or you might as well call me the A Plus Ambassador. Um, because we're running out of time, I'll be doing tutorials on request basis. So instead of me like explaining everything, I will just be explaining things that people find hard. So if you have any physics problem or physics um, question that's challenging, you can send it to the WhatsApp number. Zero nine seven eight nine five nine five seven nine seven five. So you can just send a picture, and then we'll be able to handle it from there. Um. So today, someone requested some questions from story sheet seven, question one to three. So I'll do one in this video, and then I will do question two in another video, and question three also in another video. Probably if I have time, I'll post them today, but let's get started so um have my name <laughs> let's see amanda um and remember um our tutorials are being sponsored by the deal dealers So they are the ones paying for markers and pens, stationery, bundles, and everything. So remember to check them out and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And so you can get started. Um, that's question tutorial sheet seven. To tutorial sheet seven. Shit. Seven. Question. Question one. Um, I've not been able to do tutorials for quite some time, so I've been off. Um, I banged my finger against the door, so if you notice, this one is is quite thicker or fatter than the other. Yeah, my my finger was swollen. So, um, but we are we are getting there, and at least I'm able to write now, so we can get started. Um, question one says, a uh, compute the current flowing through a copper wire of cross section area. 1.25 times 10 to the power negative 6 meters squared assuming that the drift velocity is 2 times 10 to the power negative 4 meters per second and the charge carrier density is 1.0 times 10 to the power 29 meters to the power 3 so now this question you must be mindful of <coughs> of the SI units so that you can be able to know where to use what and you must be able to collect your data so from from this question we can see that we've been given some values and we are being told to find the current so now we can start from the simple equation that's that's the current is equal to q over time the current is just the the charge per unit of time so now the current the current can be given by the number of carriers times the charge per carrier so it all depends on the carriers now in metals usually the carriers are electrons so now the number of carriers the number of carriers can be given by a formula first before i say the formula um i would like to state where it's coming from so let's say we have uh, a pipe or a wire imagine this is a wire and it has been magnified we have that and we have the two there so let's say we have our distance here as delta x and we have our area the area of this sphere or circle as our area a and so when finding the volume here we say the area the area multiplied by the distance and then the number of carriers can be given when we multiply the volume times the carrier per unit of volume so when we are given n to be the carrier 
to be the number of carriers per unit of one volume when we multiply it by this volume we will have the number of carriers so this represents the number of carriers and then the charge per carrier will just be given by q so now here what we are being given is a drift velocity so we must be able to find this we must be able to um give the drift velocity in this equation so this we know that q delta q a q q is now being equal to that and then since we've not been given the since we've not been given the the distance we can we can thus find another equation that we can compute from the distance that we can replace with the distance that can give us the values that we've been given so now we know that speed is equal to the distance over time and then here we have the, the distance and then we also have the the speed which is a drift velocity so you may you, we can make distance the the subject of the formula being d is equal to speed times time now um the distance we can replace it with delta x where the speed is a drift velocity then the time is t so you can replace now this equation there so we'll be having delta q being equal to n a v d t times q so now we get back to this equation let's say this was our equation one this was our equation two so you can say equation one and two so we can <coughs> we can now place i will be equal to the whole of this n a v t q over delta t so now the t and the t can cancel so we'll be having i being equal to n a v d times q so n is the num is n is the number of carriers per unit of volume a is the cross-sectional area v d is a drift velocity and q is the charge per carrier so now knowing that in metals the carriers are electrons we can now collect our data so we have our data there so now we have the area being equal to 1.25 times 10 to the power negative 6 meters squared which we can represent as a then we have the drift drift below ct which is equal to vd as usual you can forgive me for the font i have a nice one it's just because of the same the same index finger yeah it's swollen so um we our drift velocity is two two times ten to the power negative four meters per second and then our charge p unit of volume is equal to 1.0 times 10 to the 29 meters to the power 3 and then our charge um, is the fundamental charge and then our charge being the fundamental charge of an electron and then we're going to use the fundamental charge of an electron um simply because the carrier the charge carriers are the electrons so we, we use the fundamental charge which is 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 coulombs and then don't worry about this one you will be given in the in the in the exam and then remember you don't have to go through all this you just have to show them you just have to start from this formula and then plug in the values the reason i started from all of this is i wanted you to understand where what is coming from so that when you are plugging in the values definitely you can not say this is this and then that is that so we say i is equal to n um a 
vd q so i we plug in the values with the we plug in the values with the with the si units so that we can see how they cancel then we can see what we remain with so that we can we can even know the si units that we must give here i hope you're trying to get what i'm trying to say <laughs> um yeah times 10 to the power 29 meters per second that's meters times 10 to the power negative this is supposed to be meters to the power 3 because this is the number the number of this is the number of charges per, the, per unit of volume so this is the unit of volume and these are the number of charges then we have our area which is the cross section times meters squared then we have our juice velocity which is no other than 2 times 10 to the power negative 4 meters per second then we have 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19 19 coulombs so now you can see how this meter squared will cancel with this one to leave one and then this will cancel with the other one and thus we will not have any meters at all because we have three in the numerator this one will cancel with this one to leave two then these two will cancel with this one to leave nothing and then all we'll be having here is the per second the per second that's here and then coulombs on top and then we know charge is the we know that current is charge per unit of time so the si units will be coulombs per second which are equal to amps so one coulomb per second is equal to amps so now we can multiply this we can get the calculator and use that method which i had i advised you to use last time if you don't know the method you can um visit my previous video uh, times two exponent neg four times one point six exponent neg nineteen so then we are being given the answer to be four so this is four coulombs per second the coulomb is coming from here the per second is coming from there this one cancels with this one to leave one this one will cancel with the other one so we have coulombs per second which is equal to i will be equal to four amps so um that's it for this paper so if you want to have the tutorial solutions i can send them to pdf on whatsapp you can whatsapp the same number if you have any questions you can whatsapp the same number if you have any clarifications if i made a mistake anywhere and then you want to clarify it you can use to the same platform and au revoir, à l'autre continuer and together we can 